home. <laughs> To what's safe for my man and I'm Bo and today we're gonna take your breath away so breath play is the restriction of oxygen and blood to the brain it's an erotic play used to intensify an orgasm or sexual experience it's also known as asphyxiation autoerotic asphyxiation breath play breath control and strangulation asphyxiation X why is it an AX if it sounds like an EX? English, I hate you! Would you say English was breathtaking? This kink is definitely one of the most controversial we've ever talked about. It's literally putting the life of your partner in your hands. At the same time, even though there are so many people that have talked about it and kind of written about it online, there is not one article I could find that talked about it in a positive way that's saying that it is safe in any sort of manner. This is and can never be done safely. But, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about it in such a way that we never, ever, ever, want you to do this alone. As far as the history goes for breath play, it's been documented back up to the 1600s, where it was once used as a treatment for erectile dysfunction, which is weird. <laughs> it's even been said throughout history that when someone is being hanged, they are sometimes seen having an erection or even ejaculating. So given that this is such a risky business, why do people do it? What causes people to get into breath play? Well, it causes a dizziness, a heightened sensation within your entire body, and it gives you a, a light kind of fuzzy feeling in your head when your brain is not getting all that oxygen and that blood where it should. And it's that edgy kind of thrill-seeking adventure that comes along with breath play that drives some people to play and practice it. And there are many ways which you can actually practice or perform breath play. And this list we're about to go over is the safest the first of which is just holding your breath. Very simple. Circular breathing, which is breathing in through the nose while you're holding in your mouth. It's kind of like, it's cool. I don't know, I played a saxophone, so I know exactly how It's also something I found online where people breathe back and forth. You're essentially breathing back and forth and giving each other your breath, and it keeps getting harder and harder to hold because you're breathing out more carbon dioxide. And so it's a very safe form because if you need to break that, that breath play, you just turn to the side, breathe in normal air, and you're good to go. You can start all over again. Nose pinching or mouth covering. Very simple, like this. <gasps> Bags, hoods, and masks. So these are going to be objects that you are actually going to put over the person's head, whether it's a gas mask, an actual bag, some sort of plastic. And this is going to restrict breathing and possibly even recycle air. It's... So it's Darth Vader into breath play? Yes. No, it was. <laughs> Kinging or queening. And this is this is a form of face sitting, which you are using your genitalia or your butt and you are sitting on someone's face, but doing so in that you are restricting their breath. It's fine. But it can be dangerous if you're not aware of a person's nose, so be careful. Don't break a nose. <laughs> don't break anything. Yeah. Except wind, maybe, if they're into uh. breath. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Choking, applying pressure to the throat and the carotid arteries. It's also known as blood choking, carotid restraint, or sleeper holds. Go to sleep. <laughs> I sleep with my eyes open, actually. <laughs> uh. Chest compressors or corsets. And these guys, pretty straightforward. It's where you're lacing someone up in a bind of some kind. The one thing to remember about these, though, is the second that you're releasing those corsets, you're going to have all that blood flowing right back into the head, so it's very important to do it slowly. You're not by the tchotchke, you don't have a five-inch waist. Be careful. Oh, blase, duh. <laughs> How's your head, though? It hurts. I can barely hear a thing inside this, this muff. <laughs> one of the more riskier forms and obviously dangerous is hanging. Never, ever, 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 ever. Do that alone. And last but not least is autoerotic asphyxia, and that's any sort of play that you are doing on yourself, by yourself. Anything that is self-applied, it should never be done alone. And while it is on this list, we stress 
more than any of these things that you always practice this with someone. So after going through all those applications of breath play, we want to go over the safety concerns and ways in which you can do this safer. Uh, the first of which is knowing where your trachea is and your carotid arteries. Your trachea is that hard tube in the middle. It's hard for a reason. You don't want to apply pressure towards that. You don't want to put your fingers on it and push. That should never be played with. The second of which are the carotid arteries. Those guys are the sides of your neck. They're where you can feel that pulse. It's what's letting blood in and out. You should never stop blood flow there, you should only limit it. Yeah, try it, it's, try it's, it with us. Um, can you say breath play? <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> yeah, uh. Dora, 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 the kink explorer. Safe words, they're used very importantly in this because it's always a non-verbal situation and you can't actually talk. So jazz hands or tapping like that. Or eye contact, that's a really good, easy one to do because the second that you might be falling unconscious, your eyes are not going to be making that contact. Nope. Or you're just over the situations so where you're like, ugh. <laughs> Leave already. Everyone has different thresholds of pressure and how much of a hold they can take, so make sure that you are adjusting accordingly. Don't push the limits of your partner. It may be really sexy to think about them passing out, but it's a very serious situation if that actually happens. The reduction of blood flow to the brain can cause many health concerns, one of which is ischemia. And ischemia is what can lead to strokes, brain edema, heart attacks, and even comas. Don't play without consent. Blue colors in the face are a bad sign. Breath play is actually more dangerous for those men over 40, those with heart conditions, a past of seizures, alcohol, drug abuse, those who are overweight with cholesterol issues, and those with asthma. So what happens when the scene goes wrong? Because it can and it does in a lot of situations. If someone blacks out within a scene, do not panic. When they wake up, the first thing that they do not need to see is you freaking out. If the person is not breathing after you let go, you did something terribly wrong. Call 911. If you know CPR, start doing that. If you don't, learn. And last but not least, aftercare. Just because the scene is over doesn't mean your responsibility ends. At the end of the day, breath play is a kink. It's something people are into, it's something people are going to continue to practice, but so long as it is so taboo that we can't talk about it, we can't educate each other, we can't watch videos on YouTube, people are going to continue to practice it incorrectly. They're going to be forced to practice it on their own in private and it's going to continue taking lives. So it's really important that we talk about this and we understand that it's not a safe play. We, we talk about this because it's a very serious subject and it hits very close to home for us because we've known people that have had complications or even passed on from practicing it by themselves. Please always be safe. Please always communicate your kinks with those that are really close to you and that you practice with. And please, above all else, whether you're using it verbally or not, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Because... Think these are spirit figures? These are spirit figures! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This was a really serious subject and we enjoyed talking about it. Leave a like if you want us to talk about more taboo subjects. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on What's the Safe Word. Bye! Bye.